Hey, and welcome to this video for Wordance.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can create your own custom t-shirt shop using Wordance.com, and we're going to show you some different examples of some good and bad shops created uh, using the website. So let's go ahead and get started. So how do we create our own custom t-shirt shop? If you go to the website, which is Wordance.com, uh, you'll see at the very top of the webpage, there's a few different listings. If we go to sell, we see that there's an option to open a t-shirt shop. So if we click on that, you'll see that it gives us the steps necessary to open our own t-shirt shop. So in the middle here where it says open a shop, if we click on the learn more button, now we can click on open your free shop. All right, since we haven't created an account yet, we can go ahead and click on the join now button and it's gonna ask us to put in some information. So go ahead and fill out all the information that's required. It's going to ask you for your first name, last name, a username, email, etc. So fill that information out. Now in addition to creating an account by typing in your information, you can also connect using Facebook, Google, or Twitter. So it's your option. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and connect with Facebook. So go ahead and either input your information in the Join Us section here or sign in with your Facebook, Google, or Twitter account, and we'll continue from there. All right, so once we've created our account, it'll take us to the next step. From here, we can go ahead and choose a shop name. And once we've selected our shop name, we can go ahead and input our website, company, and phone number and click on the next step. All right, so once we've gone ahead and selected our shop name, we can go ahead and click on the Wordance theme that we want to use. So we have a few different presets here. We can use the default. We can use gray, metal. So you can scroll through these different options here and see what appeals to you. And once we've selected the theme that we want, we can click on the Save and Next button, or if we'd like, we can also create our own custom theme. So once you've selected your theme, we can go ahead and adjust our shop settings. So we'll go ahead and put in our shop title again. So we're gonna go ahead and put in a description for our shop, and then next we're gonna go ahead and choose whether or not we want to uh, upload our designs, products, um, things like that to Facebook and Twitter. So if we want to share information using social networks, we can choose Facebook or Twitter for each of these options here. Uh, it's completely up to you. Any of these you can check or leave blank. And then once you're done, we can click on the Save and Next button to continue. Okay, next it's time to go ahead and create our first product. So from here, we're able to go ahead and start designing our first t-shirt. And we can select what kind of t-shirts we want to use, whether or not we want to do male t-shirts, female t-shirts, what color t-shirt we want to use, the style of t-shirt that we want to use. We can do jackets and things like that. So you can see that all the products that are available are listed here. And you also have the option to use designs from other shop owners as well if you'd like and you get commissions based off that. So all the options and details are listed here. So let's go ahead and choose a basic t-shirt. And once we select the t-shirt from the list of presets here, it's going to appear on our display here so we can preview what we're going to be looking at. And then we can go ahead and add in different images if we like. So under the images panel, we can actually upload our own custom images if we like, or we can use a list of preset images here uh, that are available to your designers. So if I want, once I import whatever image I've chosen here, I can move it around and adjust it on the screen here. We can also navigate through the website and see both the sides, left and right of the t-shirt. We can see the back of the t-shirt, so we can see all around and adjust it accordingly. All right, so we can go ahead and adjust the back, and then we'll leave the left and right as it is. All right, so once we finish with the images, we can also add text to our shirt if we'd like to do that. So there's this text item here where we can go ahead and add different lines of text. All right, so we can go ahead and type in our text here and then adjust the different fonts accordingly, however we like. We can also adjust the size of the text and how we want to align that. We can also underline the text if we want to do that. And so once we've gone ahead and adjusted the images and text to our liking, we can go ahead and create a name for our product here and set a commission price if we like. And once we're done, we can click on the create product button. Keep in mind that the designs that I'm demonstrating here are just examples of how you can create a t-shirt. I'm not actually a designer, so this is not going to look quite as good as what your designs might look like. Uh, however, I'm going to show you a few websites that have already been built using wordance.com uh, and some examples of some good and bad uh, shops that have been already designed. So once you're done, we can click on the Create Product button and you'll get a confirmation that the product has been successfully created. So we can either create another product or we can go ahead and see what we have uh, so far. And so we'll go ahead and continue from here. 
since I'm done with my designs for now, I'll go ahead and click on the done button at the very bottom of the screen. And you can see now that my shop has been successfully created. I, I can go ahead and customize the layout of the t-shirt shop at any time that I'd like. Um, and I can go ahead and start uploading more designs. So I've now essentially created my entire t-shirt shop. You'll see here that I have now the link to my new t-shirt shop on wordants.com. And we can go ahead and open this in a new tab so we can see what it's going to look like. So with the one design that I've created so far, this is my t-shirt shop. This is what it looks like. Uh, so now if anyone visits your link, they can see a list of all of your different designs and they can go ahead and purchase these designs directly from the website. You can see the price listed here and there's a buy now button for anyone that wants to purchase your designs. Um, obviously this has not really been finished yet, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a few samples of some fully designed t-shirt shops uh, that look really nice and I'm going to show you one that uh, maybe could use a little bit more work. So for comparison here, here we have a very basic t-shirt shop that was created on wordants.com. Uh, it's not bad, however, it's very plain. Um, let's take a look at a fully designed website uh, that we would like to see. So here's an example of a fully designed t-shirt shop using wordants.com. Here we've got hoodies, we've got t-shirts, uh, it's designed very well, like the colors, They've got a nice graphic at the top of the website which catches your eye here so this is uh, really well done here and they've got all their products on the right hand side here. Um, so this is an example of a really nice uh, simple designed t-shirt shop. They've got shirts, they've got hats, they've got aprons, bags, things like that. So it's a very simple shop uh, but it looks really really nice. Let's take a look at another t-shirt shop. So here's another one that was created using wordants.com. You can see at the top they've got this nice graphic here and they've also got scrolling images that can be played so you can actually um, have it go through a slideshow of different images to kind of appeal to the eye here. They haven't really put in very many designs yet but uh, it's always good to have a graphic of some sort at the top. Um, they got the header is really nice. So you want something at the top of the screen that's really going to appeal to your customers. So the last two shops that I showed you here have really nice images and graphics on the website. While as the first t-shirt shop doesn't really have a lot of graphics, doesn't have very much uh, really to appeal to the eye. So that's something that you might consider uh, integrating into your t-shirt shop, making sure that you have plenty of graphics to draw attention to the website. And that's really all there is to it. That's how you design your custom t-shirt shop using wordants.com. It's very simple. You can head to the website and create your own shop for free and get started. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial and have a great day.